Hello, your man cave. Is that you're keeping okay and staying safe and enjoying the weather? Well, apart from the rain. Um, <clears throat> it's Mrs. Man Cave here, Rachel, and I'm with my new engine. I think you've all seen it before I have because I was at work when it was delivered, but my word, what a surprise. Now, I don't know anything about engines whatsoever. I don't know much about them, what they were specifically used for or anything. But I'm willing to learn and find out. So I don't know if you'd like to join me on this journey and, and have a look at this and see if we can find out more about it. And uh, with Mr Man Cave and your help, I wonder if we can get it started. Thank you ever so much also for all your support, all your likes and everything. We're 1,600 away from 10,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 10,000 because that would be absolutely amazing. And I'm trying to hint to Mr Man Cave that we might be able to do a giveaway or something like that for you if you would like it any ideas let us know all right so I'm gonna see where we start <clears throat> I love the size of it I must admit and uh, across here I just looked at it and I just really liked it I don't know why I just fell in love with that um I love the mechanics and the fact that <clears throat> you know this was running probably about sort of 80 90 years ago and uh, yeah it's just incredible you'd never get anything like that in this day and age that we've run for so long for so many years and do so much work so uh yeah really looking forward to this so i'll see you after the credits welcome to the man cave let the games begin So Mrs. Mancave has decided to give her engine a little wipe down to keep her doodly little hands clean when she's working on it. <laughs> I don't know if they'll keep clean. <clears throat> give it a quick wipe down and see what we're working with. Oh, it looks like that's been painted at some point. Yeah, she's, I think the whole thing's, well, it has been painted at some That's an older restoration, you can see that. But Is that the right colour though? Well, they're across these a bit darker because I don't know. I've seen two oh, That look a bit bright, but I think crosses are meant to be holly green, I think that's called. Yeah. Which I think is a bit darker than that, but mm -hmm. we can always get some holly green and paint it. I think we need to get her up and running first. Yeah. Mm, see like what she runs clean. like. Is that clean enough for you to start work? Yeah, I think right. so. Right. Because we've got to take some bits off. Yeah. Like this bit all got to come off. Mm hmm. Because if you look, that's full of water, look. Hey, right. That ain't petrol in there, that is actually water. Oh, I thought you were going to taste it for a minute. No, I'm not tasting Good. it. Good, glad to hear it. <laughs> but no, she's beautiful. I just, I know it sound, probably sounds dull, but she's so solid. <laughs> <laughs> just, like I say, when you think of things this day and age, it's, it's not like this, is it? It's so different. It's coming up lovely. Right, we will be back when Mrs. Man Cave has had her clean. So what do we need to do to, to start with? What's the best thing to do? What's the good housekeeping rule for it? All right, first thing before we start turning this thing over too much mm -hmm. is check our oil. Oil, yeah. So you want to take that cap off and there should be a line in there. Oh, just Actually, I just unscrewed. Oh, that unscrews quite easily. Yes, there's a line in there. Oh, hmm. there's that? see that little pin? Oh, yeah. That oil is meant to come up to the top of that pin. Oh, right. And there's none in it. Right, okay. No, no, leave it on because I've got to put some in it. Oh, so you fill it up from there as you well? You fill it up from there. All right, here's your oil. Right, okay. So, what oil do we need for this? Well, you've spilt it. Look. Good job. Any oil, oil will do. Yeah. Because we'll change it anyhow, but this is just a... Is that enough? No, no, I'll keep going. Say when. No, that's still dropping. Keep going. I don't know. He could have drained it. I don't know whether he's drained it, whether it was just low. No, it's still going down. You'll see, because that'll start to cover that pin up. Well, you ain't put too much in. Keep going. Well, I don't want to overfill it. Well, no, no, keep going. <laughs> well, it's not going to drain out again, is it? I hope not. <laughs> Unless I've got a hole in the bottom of the block, keep going. 
bit more look bit more right we're at the top of that pin mm -hmm. so i think you're right yeah. yep they ain't, got, they ain't dropping anymore oh that's good why have we got a drip out of there look that's why i didn't have no oil in it oh no no i think you've just spilt that down the bottom oh probably <clears throat> no i don't use that no I'm... why have it all washed well, I know what, I was going to use the cleanest, dirty rag we had. Oh, you and your cleanest, dirty rags. <laughs> I put the cap back on, so no shit drop in it. <laughs> this is your mag, Magneto. Mm -hmm. So and what Magneto is that on there? That's a BTH mag. That would be the original one. Oh, wow. And that's an advanced and retard for your ignition. So what does that do? That advanced and retard, advanced and retard when the engine sparks. Mm -hmm. So whether you have it a little bit before or a little bit after top dead centre, it just varies it. So you can adjust. But mm -hmm. basically, we'll leave that probably down and set yeah. up from there. Right. <coughs> See these cogs in here? We're on point. Yeah. Oh, they look a bit dirty. They are rusty. Mm -hmm. So now turn the engine gently. So make sure they turn because they should... What, turn this? Yeah. While you're looking at that. And you should find they'll turn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there oh. you go. And that's open. That's pushing the valve open. But look at the state of them. So before we start cranking this over too much, you need to get the drill and the wire wheel that I have here. Oh, yep. There you go. And just sort of, I'll turn the engine and you get all the rust off them shiny bits. That's it. I'll turn a bit more. Oops. There you go. Oh wow, that's good. That's it. Don't get through that cam. Perfect. Ah, you're getting all that off there now. Yeah. Alright, let me turn a bit more. Alright, do them bits. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Can you put what's slowing it down? No, I don't think I slow it down. That's just good housekeeping to do away with all that before you start turning things over. Mm. Because that's horrible old rusty crap. Right, right, go. See that little bit? Because that one you're now doing, that roller in the back there, mm. we've got to oil that. Oh, right. Go oh. on. Can you get to that? That's it. That's it. You're in there, look. So you try and get all that rust off. Me come around a bit. There you go. Now do that top bit. Right, move it around. All right. Just that little bit of rust on there. Was this was left. All right. That'll do. I think. Yeah. yeah, like you look nice and shiny. Now get your oil can. Yeah. <clears throat> and just give that roller a squirt. Where that's on this bit? No, on, on the shaft, where it goes through as well. Uh, what on here? No, no, this shaft, this bolt, what holds that roller oh, on? I'm with you. To either side of the roller, basically. Oh. And a little bit in there where that joins the engine block. That's it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, well, way too much. Perfect. Now give that a turn, just to get that oil around there. There you go. Right, now we need oil in the cylinder a bit. So we need to take the spark plug out. Yeah. Yeah, so unscrew the lead. That, just that, should, that should be finger tight. What, just the top bit? Like yeah, that? and take the lead off. Just lift it off and let it hang. Now... Just pull that out? No, that unscrews. Oh, it's finger tight, look. Thought he's going to have to get a socket on there. There you go, look at, look at the colour of that plug, hopefully Ooh. that's... <laughs> hang on, let's have a look. That's actually, that's a little bit rich. She's running a little bit rich, but that's alright, I'll clean that in a wire wheel, so leave that. Oh, you won't clean it with this? No, we'll do it in a wire wheel, that's easier. Okay. Right, get that bottle off the table behind you. Yeah. I'll put some red diesel in there, and there oh. should be a little funnel down there somewhere I set out for you. I can't see one. 
There it is behind the oil can. Oh. Put that in the plug hole. What in? In put, there? Yep. And then put sort of a bit of that in there. I might start to come out the valves, no doubt, but... How much? Keep going. I'll do. I'll do. Yeah. Right, now you want to turn that engine over again by hand. What, using Mine, the flywheel? Yeah. And hopefully that diesel will now lubricate the cylinder. This rod mm -hmm. is rubbing on the engine. Look, That's I what don't, I was thinking. I don't like that. When you take this rod off, right, I think you have spun that <coughs> over enough. Yeah. So, let's get this rod off. Right, how do we do that? Take that knot off. This one I'm pointing to. Okay, should be a spanner one. there. That one should be it. No, this side. On different side. size, look. See if that'll undo. No, they're our wrong way. Oh. Is that undoing? Yeah. Right. Oh, no. That might end up turning, so you have to hold the... Take him right off. Just... So why is that? Is that because the spring's not working as well as it should? Or... No, I just want to take it off to clean it up. Right, now this one, you've got to undo that with the... That socket. No, no, you want that socket. Socket. Which one? Um, right, point no, no, to the left. Next one, next, no, next one, that one. I think that's the size <laughs> for that. Yeah? Yeah. All right, now get your breaker bar on there, which is in there. What, this big one? That's it. And undo this one. That one you just took off a lock nut. No, you're tightening up. <laughs> that's it. Sorry, left to Lucy, right to tighten. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, that's it. All right, now spin that all the way out. Then you've got to take them two out on the engine block further down. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just see this bit first. Oops. Oh. Yeah, right, you done that? Yeah, so right. can I lift that? No, up? no, no. You've got to take these out. Oh, right. These two up here. Mm, they're not going to be easy, are they? Are they the same thing? <sighs> if you can get the... No, you might have to put an extension on there to get past the flywheels. Take it off. There's an extension in there. That's it. Right. I but, can't get this bit out. Oh. That's it. Pull. That's it. That's it. So you don't normally struggle with getting it in the hole. Right. Cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll undo them, see if I'll undo. No, wrong way. <laughs> Downwards to undo, isn't it? Is that coming or has that got to break off? Oh, I hope it's not going to break off. No, that's coming. Oops. See, I'm used to these tools, can't you? Right now, can you go on that bottom one? On that's all. Right, I'll nip in and get you a. I'll nip in and get you a ratchet. It's not going to quite go on. You sure? I don't want to force anything. Right. Right. You have to use that spat. Okay. Thank you. You're on it. Look. That's on a funny angle. That's all right. right. Ah, see, you got it. Ah, see, you got it. Now you got a T in there. Now look, you're going. Well, you didn't tell me about that bit. Well, you should work it out. I sat there watching you struggle. Oh, that's moved. Yeah, it will do. Because that, that'll all fall to bits. Right. Okay. Take that top one right out. Mind that might spring, because that's on a little bit of spring tension, so that bracket might spring out when you... Mm -hmm. There you go, that has sprung. Right, now you can pull that push rod out. So hang lift, on, lift on, let me pop that. Keep the air. Put them bolts back in there and set them one side. Now lift this push rod up this end. What, just lift it straight Yeah, lift, lift it up a little. Now, so that should pull this way towards me. That should come right out. There you go. Ah. Now, we need to clean that. Oh, you've got a thingy on the end there. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. That's, that's the cup what the spring sits in. So, that's got to be cleaned. Yeah. Uh, what about this bottom one? Which one? This one. No, that, can, that can stay on, but we do have to. That's just a throttle a cable. 
Can we get into that pit and clean it very well? Yeah, we'll do all that with the pressure washer when we're done. Oh, can you? Yeah, don't worry about the minute. Now, you want to get a pair of pliers, and we need to get this split pin out. Pliers are on the floor, look. Yeah. Right, so what's the easiest way to get that out, or the best, safest way? Try and grab it from this end and pull it towards. No, you don't do it with that. You've got to do it with pliers. Yeah, I'm just... See if you can get, see if you, don't worry about breaking that because we'll replace it. Oh, it's coming out, look brilliant. Now I said, keep twisting and pulling, that'll come. <laughs> oh, nearly got you. Right, now you can pull that, pull that linkage out. Again, that spring will spring back. Pull that. That's it, that should come right out. That's it. Yeah. That'll do. Right, we need to get the carburetor off. So we don't take this off completely? No, well, don't matter. No, not the minute. Right, unscrew this all the way out. No, it's doing it up. <laughs> Just take it all the way out. Be gentle with that, because there should be a needle on the end of that. Right. A sharp point. Like a prick. There you go. There's a prick. Right. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Fenn, we do have children watching. Right. <laughs> uh, we've got to get this out. Somehow, I think, these brass things... Rah! There's a screw in the side. Get your screwdriver. Is that one going to do? Is yeah, that one will do. It should. Right, there's a screw there, look. I can't see it on the wrong side. Unless you want me to do that. Well, you can do if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, seem, seem now I am this side, but just go and do this screw, hopefully. There you go, that's coming. And this emulsion tube... Hang on, I'm trying to do this one-handed. There we go. All right. Now then, this brass tube should pull out yeah. this way. Be gentle with it. You should find that. You might have to, like, what well, you pull an old twist, and that should wiggle its way out. Is it coming? It's coming, in it? Oh, Keep pulling. Getting... Keep pulling. There you go. Hang on, let's get this flange out of the way. There you go. All right, there's our fuel filter. Look at that. Right, now you need to get your spanners. Take these two nuts out under here, Mrs. Look. Have I got you? I don't know whether I've got the right size spanner for you there. I don't know. Try that smaller one. Not too big. No, nope. let me go get you the right size spanner. Which way is that? That's it. That's it. Right. You'll only do that probably a quarter of a turn at a time. Oh, I'm with you. See what I mean? That's a little bit awkward. Once. Oh, they, oh, they're coming undone by your fingers, look. Well, kind of. Kind of. Is the, whole, is the nut coming off or is the whole stud coming out? Hello. Right, now do the other side because that one's nearly touching the body now. Right. Well, There's another one in the back there, look. Difficult to get into. That is. You got it? Yeah. And don't drop it down that petrol hole. Well, can't we cover the petrol hole up? <laughs> you could stuff a rag on it. <laughs> See that carburetor's coming. Let me put some weight under it. There you go. See if they'll come undone with your fingers. No? That one is. So you don't drop it in that petrol tank or we'll have to get a magnet tool after it. Oh, God. Just pull it down a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Is that the only bit that's coming out? No, we've got to take that. Oh, dear. We've got to take that. Um... <laughs> can't take that one oh. off as well. That's going to stink. Right, we've got to take that one off as well. Oh. I'm so glad we're outside. Can you lift it up a bit, did you? Pulling on the thing. <laughs> what oh. smells worse, the style? I'm not smelling. The style petrol or my trump? I'm not smelling. <laughs> I'm refusing to smell. <laughs> Poor old cat's hidden the garden. I like, wow, well, oh, Mr. Well, Jinx got... has gone under the cat. Can you lift this up a bit? I'm lifting. I can't get the D free. Oh, that should be no, there. I can't get my fingers there when you pull it down, don't you? Well, that's nipping on the car body, so we've got to get a balance going. That's there. That's there. Well, you got it. 
Yeah, right. the whole deep we yeah, the whole, that side. whole thing. No, you've left the stud in, so there we go. Is that meant to be in, or? Yeah, don't matter. That'll be all right. It's not moving. What's that? Stud bit. No, that's, that's meant to be stuck in there. Okay. This one's meant to be stuck in, but that's turned the whole thing out. Doesn't matter, it'll go back in. So what's the bit on top here? Is that a, like a gasket? Or yeah, that gasket actually looks good, so we don't have to make a new gasket because there's nothing wrong with that one. Yeah. But we need to clean that carburetor up. Right. So what's the best way of doing that? That's probably the next job because there is water in here. Look. Okay. See, that's disgusting. So why is there water in there? Yeah, probably because I sat. It's probably sat outside for a little while and got some wet in it. Mm -hmm. As long as I ain't done too much corrosion, that should be all right. Yeah. Yeah, there. Oh, we can take the bottom off that as well to get that a good clean. Right. Okay. Let's turn him upside down. Okay. Let that all, <coughs> let that all water out. Right now we are. Ah, someone's made a gasket up on there. Mm -hmm. See what these two are? Yeah, I'll take him. I'm up, take that emulsion too, bro. Right. No, they're yes. waiting. They're oh, waiting. Let me find your socket. Oh. That's that one. Oh, okay. There you got the deep free. There you go. Oh. So he's made a rum gasket up, the old boy. Oh, that's coming, look. There you go. Will you remember where all these nuts and bolts go? Yes. That's your job to remember that. Right. right now, do the other side. <laughs> and then I'll get the air compressor fired up and get an airline out there for it. Go in between that bit. Is that the difference? Is that a different side? I think it might be actually. Oh. Right, hold that. Because this is a two-man job, I just think. There you go. Hold it. All right, that probably will spin out with your fingers now. There you go. <sighs> now we can take that off. Right, so this bit just slides, comes off. That should do. Oh. No. Now put it on. Now just put it on the ground. And give it a tap. Don't break it. There you go. Just give that a tap and that's off. Just make sure everything in there is free. It is that's free and quite clean, so we ain't gotta to worry too much about that. Look. Yeah. See this one's another gasket, is it? Yeah, just leave them gaskets on. Right, okay. <clears throat> right, so what do Because that don't hold petrol, that, that's just an air gasket. Mm hmm Alright, I'll take this one out now. That needle, just, just yep, just untwist that. So is there a needle in there? So that'll be the same as the other one. That'll be the same as this one we've already took off. That's it. I think that's really clean, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's pretty clean. I don't think she's too much trouble. There should be a screw there, look. Okay. So where's that screwdriver? You'll have to push tight on that screwdriver to get that to bite. If not, I'll go get you a smaller one. I might need a, <clears throat> might need a smaller one, darling, because that's not going in. Are you sure? Oh. No, it ain't, is it? Right, let me go get you a smaller screwdriver. Okay. Right, we've got to take this screw out there. Remember? Yeah. Oh. I can't believe it. You can't. All right, well, well, don't force it, don't force it. All right, let me get a pair of pliers on it. All right, go on. Pliny. Is, is she tight? She is. She's going one way, but not... All right, wait a minute. All right, just give it a little spray of this. So what does that do? Well, it's penetrating spray. Now see if you can get that screw on. Oh, right. <clears throat> you might go inwards a little bit. Turn it in at last. Ah, see, that's coming now, look. Oh. You ain't got to take it all the way out. No, how no. far? A little bit more. Is that still tight? It, it's sort of in a little place. Oh, it's back and loose. Right, that'll do, I think. You sure? 
We've got to get this brass tube out like we did the other one. Right, so what, just wiggle it? Yeah, but that's got to be twisted upwards. Because there's a pipe going down off that. Right, can I take this off? Or? No, no, that won't come out. We don't want to interfere with that, because that's your governor linkage. That's well, really tight on there. That will be. Do you want me to have a go? So what? Right. You've got to sort of that's twist solid it. under there, isn't it? So it won't... Yeah, but that's got to be... If you twist that up, that'll come out of this... That, that'll come out of this slot. Oh, I'm with you. All right, let's have a go. I don't want to mark the brass. No. If it don't come, then we'll leave it in off camera. Like, let me, because that might be a bit tight. Then. That might be a little bit tight. We might have to. I don't want to mark it, you see, that's all. Mm -hmm. Cool. Back. Cool. That's not... I'd really like to get that tube out to clean up. <laughs> but if it involves breaking it, we'll leave it in. Yeah. No, we're leaving that alone. Is it worth spraying it all? Yeah, yeah, we'll blow it all out of the airline. Yeah, I didn't know spraying it with that. No, well, you can do, but they ain't going to free it up much. Get that airline. Yep. There you go. Mind <laughs> mind your eyes. Oh, well, look at all that shit in there, look. So you want all that blown out of there? Yeah, mind your eyes. I'll sort of do that and sort of blow it downwards and outwards. So that, that's it. So blow all that out, guys. Right, now blow through that brass thing where that needle come out. Well, that brass bit we just had, what well, we pull that needle out. Through there? Yeah, so blow through there. Oh, that's clear. That's all right, that's clear. Now blow the body down just to clean the whole thing up a bit. Now blow in that one. That's it. That's it. Oh, well, that's all pretty good, actually. Right, now what I do... Okay. So blow all that. That's still wet inside that carb. But you want to dry? No, well, you can do, but the way to speed that up... Put it on the floor, girl. Just tip the rest of this little bit of diesel in there. Just, yeah, just tip the rest of that in there a bit. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now you've got to swill that about a bit. What with? Well, just rinse it about a bit. All right. Mm -hmm. And then you can get that wire oh, brush off. Oh, all that muck. What's That's what I mean. There's a lot of dirt in there. Right mm. now, your driller's on speed one. You want that on a slow speed. Now you put that in there. Hold the car with one hand. That's right. Now just wiggle that about in there a bit. That's it. Whoa. Oh, hang on. Tighten the chuck up. Hang on. Hang on. I'll do it. Right, that's tight. Right, off you go again. That's it. Try and get all that in there. Ah, you're doing a splendid job, look. If I'm not, you need to tell me, because I need to learn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that'll do nicely. Yeah? Yeah, that'll do, I think. That's yeah. nice and clean in there now. Now we've got to get a pot to put that in. <laughs> right, now you can tip that into that waste pot, look. Yeah. Let's tip all that old rubbish out of there. I'll come out there a state. Yeah. There you go. Oh, so let's, is that clean? Or yeah, it's all right. That's as clean as you'll get them, because there is casting marks and surface rust in the bottom of them. Now blow it out a bit again. Just blow all that, mind your eyes, because you don't want to spray diesel everywhere. That's it. Get right in there with the air. Right in there. See it? Blow down that brass bit again. <laughs> Just blow all down that brass bit again in case there's any diesel in there. That's it. No blowing that other hole. That one. That's it. All right. 
what's it like in there that's actually apart from that bit of fluff on there that's pretty good in there actually that's the air valve so mm -hmm. right you can upend that carburetor and put that back on right shut that up that's it now turn it over and put that cover back on how it was do you remember which way it come off no. it's got a face so that goes inwards so which way do your carburetor go on like that don't it like that, so yeah. it's got a face that way. It's got a face that way. That way? That's it. Right, so put your two bolts back in. Right. Which ah, there, aren't they? Yeah. Was there another bit we had to go on? One had a washer on and one didn't, didn't it? Does it matter, or...? Can you see where it come out? No, oh, that's all right. Thinking about a lot. That's only an air valve. There is a little hole in there you want to blow out. I've mm -hmm. just noticed. I put that on. That's it. Oh, I don't hear it going through. That's fine. Yeah. Right, now you can be getting that back on. Right, so how did we... You say that bit's got to go in there? Yeah, that got to go okay, in well, there. We've got to put the things back on. No, no, they go on later. Oh, do they? Yes. Oh, right, can you do that on your own or do you want me to help you? Because you've got to sort of hold. You've got to hold it and put those bolts back in. Right, I'll hold it, you put the bolt in. Push it. Yeah. Get the knot on the other side first, if you can. Is there a room to get that knot on there? Is it going? No, it's going at an angle. I can't quite get it. <clears throat> so that fiddly. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we can't get that down because that's. Oh, of course. So I'll take that one out and put the other. No, one you don't. You don't get it out. Hold the camera. I'll see if I can get it in there. This, this is a fiddly damn job. I'll just help you with this little bit. Where is it? I can't even see the damn stub. There we go. That one in. Yeah, I think that one's going in. Let me just get the other one started for you. So this quite awkward on that bit. They are awkward. This is really sort of you got to do it yourself, but get it in the right balance so you can do it. He says as he can't do it now because he's done this one up. We should be able to get this in. Oh, you! I can't see what I'm doing. Well, no, it's awkward that bit. That is. Let me come round the side. That's it. Let me get. That's it. Let me come round here with the right hand. Here we go. There we go. I can see what I'm doing now. So these are awkward, girl. Right. Now it's over to you to tighten them up again. I'm doing as much, least as possible. Is that the right size spanner? No, I think you want that other one. That's it. That's it. Do I need to hold that up? No, no, that'll go up when you do it. So I don't think they're loose enough to do up finger tight. So you're going to have to do them all up with a spanner. <laughs> All right, two minutes later, we're just about there. They're starting to go tight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do the other side, make sure that's nipping up. Yeah, that's tight. Let me feel them, just make sure they're the right. you got to feel them, you see. See if I can get this. There you go. That'll about right, gal. Mm -hmm. Right now we can be getting blow. You want to blow out that fuel filter? Blow down. That's it. Blow down there. You might have to put your finger on the other end. That's it. That's it. I should blow all that filter out now. Yeah. 
Now you blow around all that gauze with that airline. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's like a filter. Yeah, that's like a fuel filter. Right, is that all right? Yeah, I think so. That's done, is it? That'll be. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be. Oh, you know me. <laughs> come on, let me come around here. Right. Now you want to put that back in. I can't remember where it came from. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, you need to. We need to drain that fuel tank first. Mm -hmm. That fuel tank is still half full of really minging petrol. Oh, is it? Yes. Now, I believe this being a petrol paraffin, mm. I think, I think one side's petrol and the other side's paraffin. Mm hmm. Oh, that is definitely stale petrol, that side. Yeah, that's your diesel, that's your paraffin side. This is your petrol side. Mm -hmm. So you say that needs to be drained out? They both need to be drained out. Right, how do we do that? Right, undo this nut here. Oh, See that one on the side there? That'll drain out all the old petrol. Oh. No, you might want that socket, what you had. Is it that one? Too small. You want that next size up. Yeah. Alright, I need to get you a tub to put that in. Just crack off, make sure that will undo. Whoa, 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 whoa. You'll have petrol all over the floor. Oh. That'll do. Right, let mm -hmm. me go get you a tub to put that in. Okay. Right, we've got the pot under there. You can undo that. That might come out there at a rate, so... What, the petrol? That Woo! might. Whoop, there you go. Well, that actually, it's quite clean. No, nah, stale, smell it. Oh. See, it smells like deck stain, doesn't it? it smells the same. Oh, it's running everywhere, look. Oh. Hang on. That... Let it run down a spanner, there you go. That's a good idea. That ain't working very well. Mind you, I suppose that'll clean this bit, will it? Well, that wouldn't hurt it. Oh. Oh, it's coming down. That's what I mean, that will, that's gone. Right, put your finger over it, that pot's full. Put your finger over it. No, your finger. Oh, you've got a rag over it. Let's empty that. Alright, is that the rest of that out? I think so. Just... Hang on. Hang on, let's tip the engine. Tip it? Well, you hold the camera, I'll just lift the engine up. Oh, I thought that would that nice. <laughs> Don't worry about how that bring the wood up. Wow, that's nice. Mm. Oh, wow. Right, we'll do that. whole <laughs> petrol. <laughs> right. Clean. Oh. Well, well, we got that. There you go. Oops. That's what's called an oily rag finish. <clears throat> Literally. You're yeah, using like... There, what? There was a load of... There's a load of old tip down here. So. There will be. I just want to lift the end of this engine up so that will run down and you might get a bit more out of that. Yeah. Oh, I'm chuffed with that. Well, how it's come? Well, it's, oh, it's cleaning all these up as well. Sorry, you know what I'm like. Right. Oh, are you meant to use old petrol? I don't matter. Use anything you want. Can't you bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can't help myself. Right, you've got a load of crud in here. No, that's not crud, that's a little wick. Oh, is it? Oh. That's okay. meant to be that. Soak oil up. Oh, does it? Yes. And then drip it onto that shaft what you're turning there. Oh. 
Oh, no, you was... finish your cleaning. I know. All right, now you've got to get that. Mm -hmm. See, you've got to sort of poke it. Ah, see, you got it. you got it because you've got to sort of line it up and poke it in. Wiggle the pipe up and down and that'll go in. That's it. Wiggle it up and down as you're pushing it. There you go. That should go all the way, all the way. As far as that'll go. It's as far as okay. That is, isn't it? Put that flat towards the back. That's what I'm trying to... It's flat, but I can't get it in. in. That ain't in right, then. That should sort of all sit right. Hang on, give that a wiggle. There you go. That's there. Right, now you want to tighten that screw up again, what we had. Uh, what did we use for that? Use that little black screwdriver, didn't you? Well, that's a thinner one. That's it. Tighten Ooh. him in. That's as tight as it'll get, I think. That's it. Don't yeah. over-tighten. Mm -hmm. Right. Now I think we can be getting this governor rod back in. Now you've cleaned that up in the wire wheel, so we'll put that back in, gal. Right, okay, so that goes If you back. remember, that slides through that hole. Hang on, before you do that. Before you do that. Let me just shove a bit of oil through there. That's it. There you go. All right, now shove that. That's it, perfect. Right, so where does this All go? All right. Hang on. All right, right, right there, hang on. The spring got to come back here. That's it, that's seating. Yeah. And then you've got to put that in there. Well, like you got it. You've got to screw this nut in, ain't you? Yeah. Well, that bolt. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Hang on, no, no. You've got to turn that round. Oh. Of course, the thread was on the other side. Oh. There you go. I'm okay. Right, that's it. Right, so 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 that's it. We've just got to compress that spring and go back in them holes. Hang on, let's put it in. There you go. Does it go all the way in? Yeah, it will do, yes, because you had a knot on the other side of that, oh. didn't you? Yeah, got it. Hang on. Also, no, look through that hole, you can see that bolt turning. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah. See that bolt turning through that hole? You've got to put a little drop of oil in there. Where's the old hand? Not now, not now. Tighten that up. Before you start, that's part of your oiling point. Now you've got to tighten this one right up first, then put your nut on. Yeah, I'm just that's as tight as I can get it at the moment. I'm just putting that. No, no, tighten the nut up. Leave the spanner off. Now tighten your nut up. Keep going. Right, whoa, whoa, don't over tighten. Now tighten this up. Let me hold that on that side so it don't come loose. All right. It's got to be tight. Right? Just now, no, just so it's nipped. That'll do. So I said, I need to stop at chatter and open. Mm -hmm. Now you can put your carb linkage back in. Has this got to be cleaned? Not at the minute. Don't worry about it for the minute. Can you do it? You've got it, ain't you? There you go. Right. And it was that split pin. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, that's a rough, rough old one. Here's a new one. Yeah, here's a new one. Not a lot of point reusing old split pins. Are these all different sizes? Yeah, I think you'll want that small one, I just think. So that's got to be a pretty small one to poke through that hole. Can you get it through? That's it. Well, that's through, isn't it? Yeah. Now just bend that up like so. And then bend that one down. Yeah. That's it. Bend it out of the way. Make sure your throttle move, which it does. They ain't jamming up on the split pin. <clears throat> All right, now we can put our needles back in. What about this bit? That's got to go on in a minute. Yeah. So screw your needle back in the front. That one with the numbers on, go in the front. And this other one come in the side. We'll get them in. There we go. 
So why are there numbers on there? That's your mixture. Mm. Right, this one's all the way in, so that's putting the engine on stop position. Right, so this is all the way in as well. That one's all the way in? Yeah. Right. Yeah, don't over tighten them. <laughs> right, that'll do nicely. Now we need to get this one back on. Have you got the muscles to pull that spring back, or do you want to hold the camera and I'll just put um, this back on? Where does that bit go, then? Well, that comes here, doesn't it? You remember, oh, but right. you've got to push that against the spring. Oh. I don't think you've got to be strong enough, though. Because you've got to put this on. <laughs> All right, then. Hold the camera, look. I'll see if I can get it back on. You might have to come around this side. I need to get that side. You know what I mean? Or if I push, you screw the nuts in. <sighs> oh, that's bloody tight. Oh, it's got the top one in. Oh, that's good. Uh, and the bottom one's right. Now you can tighten them up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Use that. You used that widget before, didn't you? Yeah. Did I have the same end on there? Socket. Yeah. I think that's the same one, wasn't it? Just tighten him down. No, don't over tighten that one. Do the top one next. Is that stuck on? There you go. Right now, do them up. What, tight? Oh, well, they can be fairly tight. <laughs> That's it. Right, I think now we're ready to see. Um, yeah, we've got oil in it. No, no, leave it open. I want to see if the engine's sort of freed up a bit. So you need to get the handle on it. But what? Can I just roll it? No, do it with a handle, because at the same time I want to see if we've got a spark. Hold the camera. And we'll just see where that little end off that spark plug. I've got here, take that little end off. There you go. This is doubtful. When I get engines, they never have a spark. Right. Where's the handle? Yeah. Right. Lube your shaft. Like this? Yes. No, no, this no, this shaft. Oh, what, just in here? Yes. All right. No, all the way to the end, because that's where your handle goes. Oh. Whoa, 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 you're overdoing it with the oil, gal. Oh, you said to the end. Right, now get your hand round it and rub it all around like that. That's it. Perfect. Now squirt some on them rollers. No. No, you you can squirt a little bit on them rollers in the back there. Right. What, in the back here? No, on them rollers. Oh, I thought we'd done them, didn't you we? You did once. Well, I'll do. Yeah. And did you say some along here somewhere? That we'd have to you do... You want to fill this with oil? Squirt that. Just gentle squirts until that little thing's full. You hold your can. Go on. Whoa. Oh, well, I'll do. A little bit of oil in that hole there. Just a nip. That's it. Oil your valves. There's a gauze in there. Soak that gauze. That's it. Oh. That's it. Now your bottom one. Just to get all them valve guides lubed up. Is that right? Yeah. A bit more this way. Where them springs are on that metal block. Look. That's it. That's it. Same mm -hmm. with the top one. Because them springs could rub on there. I'll do. Right, I think now, chuck your handle on. Now, there's a little pin in there, you've got to lift the other side. Where you, put you on about. Right, put your handle on this way. And there's a little pin in there, you've got to lift it up, and then you can slide it on. Oh, right. Yeah. Now, that should lock on the engine. Yeah. Don't hold the handle like that, put your thumb on the other side. That That's way. it. Yeah. I mean, it ain't going to start, because just turn it. Keep turning. Quicker. Quick as you can. 
Alright, we ain't got a spark. Oh, that's turning nice and free now. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's turning nice and free now. Yeah. Right. We've got to clean the points on the magneto. Right, okay. So we need to take that off. No, no, don't take off. No. Just take the back cover off. And I think there's enough room in there to get in there with a nail file. Hang on. Let's, no, no, no. Let's turn the engine around. No. You need to take the points cover off now. Slide this bracket out of the way. This bracket here. Just... There you go. Yeah. Now this back cover. Mm -hmm. Does that, just... that should flick off. I don't think from there. I think the actual little cover. Right, do, or do you want to screw it here? No, that's advanced and retard, look. Oh, hang on. That's all come loose. Right, we need this back cover off. It's coming. That's loose, look. But this whole thing comes off? No, no, just this back cover. If we can get in there. I don't want to ruin it or anything. We should back get that off and there should be a set of points in there. I'm not the most familiar with BTH mags, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I can't get it off. Is there not a lip on here somewhere? Right, I've got that in your points for you. Mm -hmm. If you just gently go in and out like that, mm -hmm. gently, without pulling that all the way out. Yeah. That's now cleaning them points up. Oh, right. Okay. So keep doing that. All right. I think that'll be enough. Yeah. Oh, pull it out. Yeah, yeah, pull it out. Now we can... You get your blow gun. Yeah. And if I hold them points open... I now, well. now, just blow. That's it. That's it. That will blow anything out of that point gap. Now oh. snap and shut. Yeah. Right, now we can get that cap back on the back. Can I blow this yeah. out here? Yeah, if you want to. Blow anything you want. It's not blowing it out, really. No, that won't get out very easy. Right, now we want to put this cap back on. I love this one. Yeah. What's open? <laughs> okay, you're Right, put your cap back on. Right, I think that just clicks on. That's it, it. that just sit in that hole. Now oh, just now you just done. Yeah, now you pull that lever around, look. This one. That's it, all the way around till that hold it. Oh right, so that stays on there to That's it, that, it that's all hold that on. Yeah. Right, now we've got to spin the engine round again so we can actually get the handle on it. Yeah. And see if we've got a spark. Okay. Alright, let's spin him round again. Ah, so you'll get the handle on it, alright. Oh. It's on silly little caster wheels, isn't it? Right, remember how you put your handle on? You've got to push that, put it on. Hang on. Let me get you out the tripod. That's it. Put it on, push that pin up. Does Will that you... pin go in that ridge? That does. There you go, you've done it that way. Okay. Yeah. All right, hang on. Oh, don't crank yet. Hopefully we'll have a spark now. Go on. Well, just gently? Yeah, turn it. As quick as you can. Oh, yeah, I can hear it. Is there a spark? Yeah, there's a spark. Oh, we got a spark. Oh, she's sparking at quite low speeds as well. All right. I don't know where that pin's gone. Don't worry about the pin. Leave that handle there for a minute. Hold yep. the camera, girl. I'll put the plug back in. Now, I think what we want to do... Oh, we've got a priming port on there, haven't we? I forgot okay. that. Let me just put this plug in. Where's that big adjustable spanner? Um, what, the giant one? Or? Yeah, that giant adjustable will do. Oh, that's behind me, is it right? <laughs> just nip that plug up. So you just nip that plug up, girl. That's a bit nice. That's a good spanner. Right. Which That's way? it. 
tight now. No, no, that's the other way. No. What? No. I thought white was that way. That's it. That's it. That That'll do. You yeah. ain't got to over tight. You. Put your lead back on with your little cap. And we're going for a start, guys. So put your lead back on the top of that plug. Screw that little cap on. There you go. All right. Now we've got. Stuff we will in a minute. Let's get her fueled up. She might go, I can't see why it wouldn't. Hang on. That lead ain't touching there. No, it's not touching. No, because it's all clipped in here, look, so that shouldn't. Right, let's get some petrol. Let me pause this while I get the petrol. Right, come around the front, hang on. Now we want to fill, put some petrol in here. Don't worry about that other tank, because that's your coil. We're not worrying about that for the minute. So we've just got to shove a load of petrol in here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully enough for that carb to pick up. Got a big old fuel tank on this. Mm. Crikey. There's no real way to flush these fuel tanks out, you see, short, short of separating the, the mm -hmm. tank from the block. Now it's cheap, we've got to fill this up. Mm. So what are you doing that for? Well, this is your petrol. Because what it does is it picks petrol up in out of the tank and dumps it in here. Oh, right. So we need to make sure that's full. Mm -hmm. ah, which it is. Yeah. There we go. I think that's how cross these work. I'm not familiar with these. Right, now we need to fill that with petrol and undo that little tap. Mm -hmm. We need a little. You've got a little funnel, but that's going to be too big for. <clears throat> We've got a little funnel. Oh, we have got a little funnel. Tell you what, let's put some petrol in this little bottle. Alright, hold that, I'll fill that little bottle up with petrol. You've got something in there, No, that's, that's just. Hang on, that's an old bit of diesel, I think. What is in there? There you go, we mustn't run our own diesel. I'll battle to spill this little thing up the petrol. And that can be our. I'll do. Alright, tip a little bit in there. Well, that's enough. Lift the funnel out. Now undo that, and that'll go down. Look, there you go. Right, let's put that into the cylinder. Yeah. Hold your handle how I said. Get your thumb out of the way, Art. Right, so that's on locked. That's yeah? on. All right, hang on. We need to get you off the camera. Now you're going to have to spin. Hang on, we ain't. We got that petrol switched off. Now is this. This is how it goes, isn't it? Like so. Mm. On. That one's in, so we don't want that one out yet because that's drawing power up, and so we want that one in. Right, crank, crank like hell, quick as you can. Quick, go on, go on, go on. Whoa, we got petrol coming out of the exhaust. I think we're flooded. Up. <laughs> I think she's got a bit flooded. I think we overdone it with the petrol. Alright, where's that adjustable again? That big spanner. We need to take this plug out and see what's going on. It's probably wetted it up. <coughs> so what did I do? What just Oh yeah, that's why that's flooded. I think we sh didn't need to put that much petrol in that chamber. Oh. Alright, let's blow some air through it. 
Blow that plug out. I don't think we need to have primed it. Right. Crank like hell. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Crank. <laughs> stuck. I ain't stuck us on compression. Go on, crank. Quick. Quick. What's that, While smoking. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we're getting some spoke. I think she's gone to go. Uh, let's close that off a minute. I might have overdone this with petrol and that's flooding. Hang on, let's take this plug out again. Hold the camera, girl. We'll just take this plug out again. But we're smoking, so we're getting sort of partial combustion. I could even, I might try a new plug in there, actually, because I'm always dubious for old spark plugs. But did you say that was sparking, though? Well, I did have a little spark on it, yeah, but um, I might not be sparking under load. Oh, yeah. I'm worried we've got a bit too much petrol in there. That might not have needed all that. That might not have needed all that. Because we've got petrol coming out of the exhaust, so that's obviously pumping way too much through. All right, let me get a new plug. And we'll put a new plug in it. Oh, I think you just dropped the, the top of it somewhere, darling. What's that? Top, top of the of plug? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. Right, we've got a brand new plug, look. Mm-hmm. We'll put a new plug in the old girl. Them pliers. Can you get some pliers? Yeah. Alright, just gotta take this top off. Alright. Do you want to have another go at spinning or do you want me to spin it? I'll have a go. Go on then. Best thing to do, yeah. take it backwards till you're on compression. Hang on, that little tap is off. Oh, there you go. All right, now you'll get a good speed for it come to compression. Quickly, quick as you can. Go on. No. What's going on here? Try that. Give her another crank. Yeah. But I think that side is the diesel side and we aren't going to want that yet. They so pull it back to us on compression. Right, that's there. No, no go. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure this one got to stay in. 
I'll back in, I'll take that plug out again and see if we've actually got any petrol getting up there now, or if we've switched it off. <clears throat> we might not have needed. Alright, this time that's dry. So now we haven't got any petrol in there. Mm. And maybe we don't need quite so much in that primer. What did I do with the knob off that spot? Oh, no, there it is. Where's that little tiny bottle again? That was up there. I'll just put a tiny bit in that prime hole. What, do you need some more in there? Yeah, I didn't have any in at that time. Just what a tiny bit. Right, that's enough. <coughs> All right. All right, no crank again. That's it, you're up. That's it, that's it. Ready? Go on. No. Alright, why aren't we getting any joy? Hmm. That's not too thin, is it? You know, it's definitely got petrol. I ain't pulling diesel up there because I've shut. This one, you see, pulls diesel. the. Diesel? Well, this one pulls the diesel out of this tank or the paraffin. Paraffin. So have you, you've put paraffin in? No, no, I've left that alone, because we're not turning that one on. We're just pulling out of this main tank, but we aren't pulling out of there at the minute, because that should run on what's in here. Mm -hmm. If you get what I mean. So what's the paraffin for? Uh, so when it get hot, yeah. you turn this one off and then open this one up, and that'll run on heating oil or paraffin, because mm -hmm. that's a lot cheaper than petrol. All right, hold the camera, I'll give it a crank. Because you're getting knackered, aren't you? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Now I assume we're turning this engine the right way. <laughs> and now you tell me. Well, I don't know, because this ain't the right handle for it. This, oh, is, a, it? this is a Lister handle. Mm. What Did... I was given. But oh. you can reverse them. I don't know if this engine's meant to spin this way. <coughs> well, worth a try. Well, you don't spin it that way. That's the problem, but we ain't got a handle to spin that way. Oh. Guys, do these run? Looking out in this way, do these run clockwise? There's no arrows on the flywheel, is there? I don't know, maybe need to Google it. That's it. One little point we didn't oil there. Eh? Oh. I can't see any reason, yeah, governor weights are working, I can't see any reason why that ain't starting, she should do, she should indeed. Good enough compression. Mm -hmm. Whoa!
<laughs> Get away! She was going to start when she wanted to start. What did she turn up for?
turn that off and put me. The what? Point this one literally just turns it on and off. Yeah, it does. That's off now. Oh, right. So she'll slowly stop. Oh. Yeah, I won't do him. I won't do him a couple of turns. Oh, we didn't have it on till enough, I think. I oh. didn't start. two turns. Is that where it needs to be? Well, that ought to be about one and a half, two turns. Right, now she's warm. Mm hmm Go on. Oh, I will. <laughs> Mine just make sure you keep that finger out of the way. Yep. That's right, it. You pull the back. That's all. No, you shouldn't need it. Just keep going now. Just right. crank as hard as you can. Quick as you can. Go on. Nearly, go on. No. Have you just turned it too far? Or? I'll go again. Okay, if we didn't have it enough. Right. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Go on. Whoops. Go on. Go on. I don't know. That shouldn't need a look. That shouldn't need another prime. Shouldn't do. I mean, Craig, it's only just been running. Well, that's a tiny little bit in there. All right, now crank it hard as you can. Go on, quick. No. How oh. me have a go, mate? Maybe she's not meant to be for me. Yeah, I'll stand there. Let me have another crank. <laughs> I might. Maybe you're not quite cranking. It looked like you're going quick enough, but <sighs> maybe not. I don't know. He's an awkward little bugger, isn't it? <laughs> well, she's got every right to be. She's a few years old. Right. Ah, uh -huh. one, one and a half, two. What? She tried, didn't it? Hmm. She tried. That spark plug don't need looking at again, does it? That shouldn't do. That shouldn't do now. Just don't want to. So I shouldn't need more priming. She ain't flooded or anything like that, or? I don't think so. <clears throat> Yay! 
He won't throw him. Go look round your engine. Show everyone your crossly. No. Why are you stopping? She ain't picking petrol up, look. Ah, she's not picking petrol up out of that carb. Right, that's probably why it didn't start. Somebody's going to tell me what's going on here, but I thought when you undone this tap, what says on and off, starting off, I thought that allowed it to pick petrol up out of the petrol tank. Hmm, I don't know. There'll be some Crossley experts out there that'll be able to tell us what's going on. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this one's just for your heating oil which comes out of this tank, which is a different tank. Mm. Anyhow, it runs. Mrs. Mankay's now taking a drink. Oh, don't blame her. We've seen the Crossley run. So we just need to know, work her out where we've got to set these needles and where we've got to set all this stuff. And there you go. Right, say bye-bye, Mrs. Mankay. Bye, thank you ever so much for watching. And please like and subscribe and share about, we want to get to that 10,000 um subscribers if we can so that'd be fantastic and i'll try and get mr man cave to pry something away that he might give away Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. bye <laughs> take care yourselves thanks for watching i should just add one last little bit it was our fault she stopped our car was empty something had me in the head that this was petrol paraffin it isn't I dipped my finger in there, it's petrol. So that's one big tank. I thought that was two tanks and this one had paraffin. We've used below the pickup pipe block because I left this tap switched off because I didn't want to pull on what I thought was paraffin, but no, it is petrol in there. So if we undone that, that would start drawing, fill it up and be working. There you go, she's a straight petrol model. So it was our fault, I just didn't have this one undone to keep filling that. So can we go for another start? Do you want to? Yeah. What now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> on, hang on, hang on. We ain't putting a petrol in there. You've oh. caught me off guard here. This was just an extra. Well, I don't care. <laughs> that little bit deep? Hang on. What's that? That little bit in there. Hang on. Let me get you in the tripod. Look. So, so, these, <laughs> <laughs> so these folks can see this. Because have you even started? Did you start this last time? No, did you? No. No, Every time I tried, it wouldn't work. Yeah, I think that's because that was out of petrol. So it was our, our fault. My fault. Whatever. Not your fault. So we'll cheat and fill this back up with petrol. Not too much because we flooded up last time. So we'll half fill it. Right. And that used to stop about half a turn out. So we'll go half. One, one and a half. Mm. See, where's that little bottle? Hang on. We'll give her a little tiny prime. Then you can go for a start. Oh, hells. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give it half a cap. Just a smidge. Well, that's it. Right, go on then. Yeah, everything yeah. else is that. Yeah. Do I need to pull this back? You can pull it back to compression. That'll do. Now put your handle on. Remember, pull the little pin up. You've got to lift it up with your finger and slide it over. That's it. Hold the handle with your thumb the other side. There you go. Ready? No, as quick as you can. Whoa. 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 Why didn't she get <laughs> You don't want to go for me. Go on. Ready? Go on. Come on. Careful that don't blow back, letting that handle slip on the crank like that. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I want you to start this damn thing. I know. And I think everybody else wants you to start Come it. Come on, you can do it. Come on. All right, now go again. Ready? Yeah. Stuff here is that anything? Oh, just petrol. <clears throat> but we're def right. Yeah, we've definitely got enough in there for it to pick it up. And this is on now, so that should be drawn. Well, go on. Hang on. I don't, I don't want to flood it because last time we overfilled this, that flooded right. Well, give her a go now. Well, right. we'll turn that off and we'll turn that on once that's going. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Right. 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 You have a go. You might go on, just then. have the touch. I don't know. I don't know. What I'm just going to I Just in case we've got a bit too much petrol in it. <laughs> Anyhow, that is going to be it, guys. You've seen her run. I think we've got to fiddle with them jets until we get everything right. That is definitely it. Bye bye for now. <laughs> ha ha! Crossley, 10 30. Go on. Hey! There you go! You done it! Why don't we either undo that and that should start picking up. Finally, Miss Man Cave managed to start her engine look. That governor. Don't jump about on me. Just what a good load on her. <laughs> but Mrs. Man Cave got it started.
Ha, 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 ha.